Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, family? You cats know what it is. This is Celebrity Talk with Q, and I'm Q. Check this out. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 2, Episode 11. Recap and review. Looks like the season is starting to wrap up. Uh, this episode opened up with Kirk visiting uh, Benzino at his house. Now, Benzino offered Kirk the best advice he could give. He suggested that they go bike riding to kind of, you know, reflect on things. Uh, Benzino expressed that he really hopes that, you know, things work out between him and Rashida. So I guess, you know, being that they've been married and been together so long, Benzino was sort of leaning towards advising Kirk that, you know, he hoped that his marriage works out and that should be first and foremost. We move over to K. Michelle. It looks like K. Michelle and Mimi appeared to sort of reconcile as friends. You know, they had discussed what had happened with them over lunch. So we'll have to see in the very near future what happens to that. Then we moved over to Shay and Tracy. Now, Shay and Tracy met up to talk on what had happened between Shay and Erica. Now, Shay was apologetic to Tracy. You know, I guess she was like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that at this event. I know it embarrassed you, that type of thing. Now, it looked like Tracy wasn't really, you know, too happy about what had happened. And it looks like she wasn't so readily accepting her apology. Not that she didn't accept it. It just looks like she was sort of hesitant. Send a comment. Tell me what you think. We move over to Scrappy and Erica. You know about their daughter. She turned eight. And they gave her a nice small party at a restaurant with just immediate family. That was cool. Erica also felt that it was time to tell Scrappy that his absence you know, due to arrest, is starting to affect their family and their daughter. We move back over to Tracy now. Check this out. You guys know that Tracy is starting to date someone, Deshaun. He is a fitness trainer and or fitness expert. And uh, Deshaun came with Tracy to a club. Now, Tracy went ahead and introduced her new boyfriend, Deshaun. To her baby's daddy, which we all know is DJ Drew. And it seemed like DJ Drew seemed like he wasn't too happy about it. He began to talk about the guy to Tracy behind the guy's back and calling him names to Tracy. But it seems like Tracy may have done that on purpose. I'm not sure. I mean, what do you think? You think she invited him just to get a reaction from DJ Drew? Or, you know, is she really, really feeling Deshaun so she felt that he should be there? Later on, over lunch, DJ Drew admitted that he would rather they try to rekindle their relationship, him and Tracy. But it looks like Tracy was totally against the idea. Now, moving over to Jocelyn. Everybody loves Jocelyn. Jocelyn confessed to Kay Michelle that she loves Stevie J. Wow, now, like, that's big news. But she stated that she wants to marry him. Now that's taking it serious. Later on, Jocelyn met up with Stevie and discussed how she thinks that they should at least get engaged since they've been together for a year and a half. And I don't know, you tell me, it looks like Stevie, you know, looks like he didn't think that that was the worst idea in the world. Looks like he was sort of, you know, thinking about it. Send a comment, tell me what you think. Now, back to Scrappy, a little disappointing situation. Scrappy tells his daughter that he may have to be incarcerated for a little while. It was a very emotional time. But his daughter, despite the fact that she's only eight, she seemed to have really had got a good grasp and a good understanding of the situation. Later on, Scrappy turned himself in to the authorities. And wow, Mama D, it was just so emotional. She was crying. And it was a really sad situation. Our heart goes out to Mama D. Now, let's move over to Rashida. We all know that Rashida's pregnant, so the women threw Rashida a baby shower. Of course, minus K. Michelle, and also minus Mimi. It seemed to be a nice event, but it seemed like a lot of them, instead of focusing on Rashida, they was discussing Kirk's behavior. Now, 
Now we concluded with this, uh, Manzino and Kirk took a trip together to sort of kind of get away, get their head clear of everything that was happening. Now they met up with R&B singer, you all know who he is, Bobby V. Now he was there with all these very attractive, sexy women. And it seemed like the trip turned into more of a party than a trip to reflect. Yo, send a comment. Tell me what you think. Was that a trip to reflect on the trials and tribulations of their lives? Or was that a trip to really have an undercover party? Send your thoughts. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. And like we always say, if you think celebrity talk with Q, if you think we bring the real, you go on and subscribe. All right, God bless. 100.